What's up, Rubits? Little Big Robots back with a video here. Uh, obviously, review this time. I'm taking a look at a new 30 Minutes Missions kit, uh, kit, but instead it's called a 30 Minutes Fantasy kit. So, 30 Minutes Fantasy is a new, um, I guess you would call it a line. Uh, you know, it, instead of 30 Minutes Missions, they have these new ones called Fantasy. So, it's basically an entirely new um, kind of lore. It's it's an interesting thing. Let me let me kind of grab a few here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's see, we got like this guy here. So in 30 minutes missions, you have three factions. Basically, you kind of have like a humanoid faction. Then you have this alien faction came along. Uh, like humanoid ones, you know, will look a certain way. Um, another alien faction came along, Maxion, whatever it was, I can't remember exactly because I don't have them with me. And then the third faction showed up with like these more humanoid shapes that don't don't have an obvious like pilot in them. It's kind of a brilliant little move because what they did is they they introduced three factions and each one, each little storyline has different designs in it, so it can kind of cover. Um, you can use the thirty minutes missions just in their you know their lore or you can use them like this in other um model kits of the same uh, 1 144 scale size and even even beyond that so you can do a lot with it you can even take these humanoid ones which are popular now and do more humanoid like shapes so it's a really smart thing that it's kind of fun the lore this is different um this let me see where is the lore for this so let me give give you this here so you can see it because it kind of explains uh, if you want to pause that and read it or whatever, it's. I, I want to say that it is a new planet where these humans merge and work with like mechanical creatures. It's, uh, it's a long story, kind of for me to go over in a you know video. I'm trying to keep relative. You just read that and it'll kind of explain it. And they're going for this night kind of thing, which I think is really cool because if it allows thirty minutes missions to go ahead and have the fantasy stuff. I mean, go ahead and have the humanoid stuff without necessarily going full fantasy like that. I reviewed the centaur, the horse thing I got in 30 Minutes Missions recently. That, to me, if you start getting into pirates and ninjas and stuff like Number 57 did, then you kind of pull away from the original, the the pull, the, the attractiveness of the original system. This is the, the first night that I got. The other one I have on pre-order has not arrived yet. I've been waiting on it for months. Um, I get mine from Gunzo here in San Diego. Gunzo is a fantastic, uh, cute little uh, Gundam shop that, as small as it is, it packs a real punch. They have great prices, um, really, really great customer service. Their owner is adorable. She's very nice. Um, Gunzo, look it up, G-U-N-N-Z-O dot com. You can order there if you want as well, but I go down to San Diego, uh, downtown San Diego, because I live in San Diego, and I, I buy them there. And this one just came in. Um, so this is the first, this is the Liber Night, Liber Night? I want to say it's Liber like Liberty, but I guess it's Liber. I, I don't, somebody explain this to me. I think one of the advan uh, one of the uh, purposes of this line is to be a really, really more, you know, what crazy flexible, posable um, humanoid line, but one that um, is as easy to put together as normal 30 minutes missions kits, which means you can take about 30 minutes and put them together. Everything you can think on these guys, I haven't even really started to pose it yet. You can do, as it showed, you can do like a cross-legged, you know, a yoga pose. You can do kicking and punching and everything you can think of with these guys. I'm not going to go through every little, uh, you know, um, movement thing and every little finger and everything. Let's let's get away from that in some videos. Toys and modern kits these days are so posable and stuff. It doesn't really matter that much unless there's a gimmick that requires it. It does have some really neat little designs like the like the uh shoulders there. Um so really I I'm think I'm the way I feel about this is it's like a more advanced almost like an not an MG but almost like a um a little more advanced 30 minutes kit. It still has some of the basic parts, you know, the basic uh, movement bits and stuff you can see in like a normal kit. But it's just a bit more detailed, a bit more uh, finely made it feels like. Um, what I have done is I placed these little blue bits on here with the little con connectors. You can actually place them where they don't have that on there. 
I went ahead and did it because I'm going to go ahead and put the armor on and show what that looks like. It has this cool kind of um, midsection part that is really neat. So it has a, has a few more improvements, I'd say, than these guys, where these guys, their chest basically connects up into that little ball joint just in that chest. It's a really simple way to do a crunch. This one has a bit more of an advanced type of thing. Um, there's these gems they all use. This is a water one. I'm not sure what the other ones are going to be. Like I said, this is the first one in the Knights uh, release line. So I'm excited to see the rest because this is a really just I, I kind of like just the humanoid kit. Um, like I said, I'm not a knights and ninjas and pirates guy. I'm not a kid. You know, I like just but I think it's a really fun idea to do some really cool customization stuff. And of course, you can use your 30 minutes parts with this. You can even use these parts with 30 minutes sisters, which are great, which I'll be reviewing one of their kits soon. So what you could do, you get all these little hands you just pop them in and out. This, the ones I put on right now are the ones that are a very simple, posable hand. So if you want to put the sword in it, you just go bloop. And then you can pose it whichever way you want. You know, it's really, really cool. These, uh, you notice the little hole there. I can attach the little hole anywhere I want. They're all, it took Bandai seemingly years and years and years, decades, to understand that just make all the connectors all the uh um you know uh the rubber bits that connect it together all the all the holes make it all the same size if they had been doing that for decades and you would have been able to just simply pull apart an sd kit and put it with a rg kit you know it it's just they wanted to encourage people i think to craft their customizations more to like paint and glue and file but I think that that's a barrier to people to get into the hobby a lot of times. So this is 30 minutes of missions, I think, is a, is, a, is an opportunity to kind of improve on that. Or to, you know, just make it more of a fun, you know, entry level kind of thing. But they're just, it's just such a cool look. I'm not a fan of the blue as much. The blue is a little bit gaudy to me. On my camera, it might look a little bit more like a pure blue. On In person, it's a bit more purplish blue. But he is just a fantastic looking humanoid figure. I just this, It's just crazy what you get for the pricing nowadays. So what you do though is you take that, you take his shield, his sword, all that fun stuff, and then you can add all this different armor to it. So what I'm going to have to do, which I'm not looking forward to do because I'm hungry, hungry hippo, is I'm going to go ahead and cut this part, put it together, and come back hopefully with something like that. So let me stop here. I'll be right back. Uh, well... It'll probably be an hour from now because I'm going to make some supper probably, but uh, I'll come back with that. See you in a minute. All right, I'm back. Here is the Liber? Liber? Somebody tell me. Liber, Liber Knight. Uh, mostly outfitted. I believe this is pretty much all that uh, they have, the knight thing has. Again, I'm not a knight person. I don't do knights and dragons and stuff. I, I You know, I like fantasy stuff, of course, and I like knights and dragons. I'm just saying as, when you know, I don't mix stuff like that with my robots. But this is really a really cool kit. It feels much more premium than uh, the price. Uh, everything is really nice and tight. I mean, the way they make kits now, it's just it's just fantastic. I just kind of attached this shield there. Um, I like that they're going in this. Uh, they're going in this um, with kind of a different IP in a way. Outside of Thirty Minutes Missions, they're making a fantasy line, so that they're not. Just making all of a sudden, you know, 30 Minutes Missions kits, which are kind of like Gundam kits, you know, have, you know, orcs and goblins and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? So, so this was a really, really smart move. They're also, if you watch their live stream they did where they covered what's coming up, they also did, there is a band of four uh, young women model kits they're making. <laughs> it looks so freaking cool. I'm so excited to get that. I don't know anything more about that. If you know anything about it, let me know. Um, but it's just a, it's just a fun, uh, a really fun, uh, build. Um, everything is pretty easy to take off. You can just attach it to these little, these little, you know, uh, areas I had attached here. For example, these shoulder bits that just attach there. You can pop things in and off. Once you have all these, uh, you know, taken off of the sprues and stuff, you can really, really, um, it goes fast. It's not a big deal. This is just all pops on. And you know what, though, I have to say, uh, what, one strange thing is that I noticed the head was two different color grays there, which is a little bit unusual. I don't mind it. I like the different color gradients in odd places like that because you find that stuff in real life. Um, but um, the basically the, the color of the base gray minus the armor, I really like that color. I like that it almost looks like a, um, a pre... Um, 
Oh, geez. Oh, geez. A uh, pre, uh, uh, you know, you based in uh, model kit so you can just apply paint to it. I like the gray. I would just wash that gray, wash the whole thing with, a, a, a you know, an oil wash or something to make it look dirty. And it would look so cool. It's a really, really cool kit. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the blue. It's a bit better in person than on the camera here. Um, but it, I, I, in a way, I'd rather have that black. Um, but I'm betting you could probably take some of these from another uh, 30 minutes kits and do that could can do that. There's some really really nice good nice good. There's some really nice details in here You could uh, bring out with some painting. There's some good opportunities for like if you want to do some custom painting there Just a really really cool kit. Um, I don't like necessarily this whole goblin kind of Night look but it is just it, it adds bulk to the upper area Which is good because it needs to balance out the skin the waist is not too skinny Sometimes uh, model kits nowadays can have such a skinny waist, they just look a little bit strange. Um, I like these skirts, how poseable. You can look at that. You can do all this stuff like that. You know, so they're really, really simple designs, you know, just attachment points that really end up working well for customizing, for speed building a kit, for having fun attaching parts. This is such a great line. All the 30 minutes stuff, Sisters, Fantasy, uh, Missions, and hopefully that band, whatever that is. It's just so fun. It's great for a beginner. Uh, pick this up. Uh, but yeah, it looks great. I really like it. I'm not, I'll am not. probably take the armor off, honestly. So like, you know, the cod piece, all this stuff like that, and leave it pretty bare because I like just humanoid looking bots. But the armor is good. If that's, what, if that's a style you're into, it looks really, really cool and is easy to customize. So again, another great kit from, I've never been really disappointed. I don't think once yet with a 30 minutes kit. And this is a uh, still a, a, another great addition so pretty cool anyway everybody hope oh, i keep hitting the camera happy having a good day and everything like that. i'll talk to you later all right bye, -bye.